Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense. Starts with c6 followed by d5. Um, always nice to play Karukan. It's a very restricted kind of an opening. You cannot uh, go for the attack straight away, but slowly develop your pieces, uh, get your bishop back. I don't like to change. Let my opponent take if he really wants to. Play pawn forward e6, solid center pawn. Uh, you can develop the bishop, try and give a check. I definitely can now. Uh, maybe I should just first take on the bishop before my opponent tries to trap it. And then, yes, a check comes in. So that spoils the castling. Now I should come back as well because otherwise uh, what can happen is pawn forward and my bishop will be trapped. So it's a wise move to get back. Meanwhile, opponent is going for the manual castling and then castle, but that's not a castle anymore because his pawns are way too advanced. And if my opponent dares to take here, that's a bold move, so he doesn't. I can proceed with the pawn, we play pawn forward again as well, if he allows, which he doesn't. Now, uh, to get my knight developed, I need to move my bishop away from here. And to move my bishop away, I need to develop my bishop uh, over here, maybe. Pawn forward would mean I'll come back. Once I can to get my knight on e7, it can go to f5 and then probably uh, stabilize itself on g3. Then some action can be expected from the knight. Meanwhile, I can play pawn forward, just making sure that there's no issues uh, with any pawn break happening. I can then take as well. Uh, my opponent should not be able to proceed the pawns and disturb my pawn structure. Uh, for the moment, I have to come back and if pawn forward, I have to come back again. Okay, now this is tricky already. Now if my opponent takes and I take, there comes a check, which would be definitely problematic. Now the best move, I think, should be to get my queen more active so that I can probably take on the pawn uh, once my opponent does take i take with the queen since my opponent didn't take here uh i'm considering um getting my knight maybe developed but then he plays pawn forward and i go back now oh, that looks fine preparing to castle on the queen side never a bad option uh okay i have to come back here no other option there um oh, my open spawns are advanced too much I don't know how good or bad it is. For the time being, I need to have this pawn maybe, uh, but then he takes. Should I take here? Yeah, not a bad move. I just try to get his queen here, and then I can play pawn forward, asking his queen to go away. And I can stop this pawn, but not required from moving forward. There's no threats now. Uh, but then I get to have liquidity of my pieces in a better way. So I think this is the right move for now. Maybe I can then read out my knight as planned earlier. Okay, my opponent is still continuing with his pawns. I should again take here, I think. I won't be able to castle in this game for sure. My opponent is playing really nice. This doesn't work. I have this coming. Uh, so I'd rather go with knight first, trying to occupy the center somehow. Maybe even go with my knight on d. Ah, pawn break would mean that his bishop is eyeing it already. I can go here and maybe plan for a fork too, if my opponent falls for it. That can be disaster for the opponent. And he does fall for it, thankfully. And I can expect a resignation now as well. Or if he moves to the wrong square, I am going with a check first. So this looks almost over now. 
that was what uh, was required from my side and that's how things quickly can change in chess if you're not careful with the knights they're as vicious as they ever get just got a good central square and then went for a fork and that fork came because my opponent had advanced all the pawns earlier uh, and his king was never guarded before he started this pawn attack onto me i think the opponent has left the game already uh, because of the folk and he cannot save the queen plus he can't take my knight as well after i take so yeah, i'll claim this victory and yeah there's nothing much to be analyzed about it my opponent played bad there uh problem was ad advancing those pawns too early now let's analyze the game from computer perspective once and see how it went maybe i could have uh, stopped this pawn attack as well but yeah, let's analyze e4 followed by c6 by move and d4 by opponent. I went with d5. Opponent advances the pawn. The Karukan defense advanced variation. I go with bishop on f5, offers bishop exchange, which I always deny and get my bishop back on g6. The main idea is to just uh, let my opponent play any aggressive move and I'll just try to play defensive because if my opponent does take i can take back and this file gets opened up for the attack which can be exploited pretty quickly uh, but my opponent doesn't take the bishop but goes for pawn to uh, f4 and i played pawn e6 uh, opponent develops the knight on f3 i go with bishop e7 then my opponent again advances the pawn on g4 and yes the right move is now to take on the bishop because if you now try to ignore that and suppose give a check and if opponent even does take uh that can be troublesome because then you are over to the attack uh, and after the king moves your bishop is kind of trapped uh you can try to save your bishop by taking here as well uh and then suddenly you have spoiled castling and then you can take a pawn but if we go back here slightly and if i try to show if i play pawn bishop here and opponent moves the king now I feel I can be in trouble because a pawn forward move can just block my bishop. Uh, I can take, yes, but my opponent does take back with the queen and his queen is also developed. And I'm about to retrieve. And that's what actually happened in the game as well. Uh, I went with bishop check. He moves away. I go back. So repetition moves, not always a good option. But then I went for h5 straight away, the right move there asking some questions to the pawn uh, which moves ahead on g5 and i played h4 that was kind of weak but i wanted to just make sure that i am on the attack as well uh, just can't let your opponent do everything which he's trying to achieve then i played bishop b4 uh, often can advance the pawn but he doesn't he tries to attack my bishop rather i go back on a5 I often has some serious advantage because if the pawn moves forward and i cannot take for sure because if i do take he comes in with the queen and there's no way that i'll be able to save everything now uh, the pawn is under attack if i try to defend well then knight is coming in and then again uh, he's threatening checkmate i can yes try to save this but then check comes in and things go haywire uh but yeah so and if i even try to take on the pawn here say if my opponent advances and i just advance two open can take or proceed with the other pawn too and suddenly my king side is opened up and i haven't castled as well the couple of pieces lying in between to to make sure that i can castle there's no definitely no way and i'll be casting on the shorter side because the king is widely opened after some pawn breaks happening here uh, so this looks very complex and things can go wrong pretty quickly so in the game, instead, uh, I just got my bishop back and my opponent played uh, f5, trying to break open from there. Computer suggesting I can take, but I went with queen e7. Uh, and then my opponent develops the knight. Uh, I also developed the knight on d7. Then pawn to b4, I got my bishop back, had to save, no other option. And then I finally thought of taking and took, a, took the pawn. And then just played g6, trying to move the queen away. Queen goes back uh yes the right move again uh queen to e6 so just a lot of consolidation here and find the right moves at the right time um then pawn to c4 asking for pawn break and i did let him take uh, i took it and he takes with the knight then i go with knight to e7 trying to be more aggressive here 
and that bishop move was a bit weak because I get to get my knight on this uh, centralized, and that's what uh, all it takes to win matches. And here, of course, my opponent can definitely um, save the threat by either placing his queen here or the bishop backwards. Both are being considered the engine's choice. But yes, in case even if he, if he attacks too, I, I just have to exchange the knights or maybe just try to connect both of them. Here, if my opponent does take, uh, that's bad because I have to take. Now, this file is also opened up for the rook and I can attack. And if my uh, if my opponent's bishop goes back suddenly, he lose the pawn. And if he doesn't go back, uh, then of course, uh, the a4 is hanging. So out of nowhere, you give advantage to black suddenly, uh, even if you are not going to... Uh, lose but my here my opponent did a blunder just moved his rook uh, on h uh, to e1 and there comes a folk so always be aware where the knight's next moves can be and knight is actually a piece which can be you can actually calculate its precise movement uh, unlike bishop which can go to a longer range reverse diagonals can be missed uh, even for rooks i would say you generally tend to see the verticals, the the, uh, the files, but not the ranks for rooks. So things like those can be missed. Uh, queen, of course, can go to any uh, direction in any amount of squares. Bishop, uh, and so everything can not be calculated as much as knights can be. Knight is a very predictable square piece, but still it always yields you to some great folks and win you matches. Here again, if my opponent goes to suppose uh, on h, uh, um, h3, and I was thinking is, I don't need to take the queen as well. I can just take the pawn and he goes down and that's checkmate. So games can quickly end with the knight. Uh, just try and make sure that you use them wisely. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe the channel as well if you haven't already. Give a like to the video as well. That keeps me motivated and posting these uh, interesting videos on a regular basis. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.